Welcome to Bible Logos. I'm Robin Carter, your broadcast host. Today I'm excited to bring you part four of how to unlock the door to your success. Hashtag let's make a deal. Hashtag I'll take door number one. Please do me a favor, like and share this message on social media with your friends and family. All right, let's get to the word. Here's part four of how to unlock the door to your success. You ever seen anybody who looked like they were talking to themselves? See, sometimes we, we look at somebody and say, oh, they drugged out. They own something. I was going to say something about Pastor Charlie, but I... She looking, she looking so beautiful today, I'm going to leave her alone. She looking so beautiful today, I'm going to leave her alone. But that word, it's, it's, it's talking about, it's, it's muttering under your breath. So on the one hand, he's telling us to keep talking about it. And on the other hand, he's telling us day and night to mutter the word of God, to meditate on the word of God. So I'm thinking about it. When something comes up, I'm thinking about what does God's word say about this? What does God's word promise me? When I, when I face an obstacle, when I face a roadblock, but God's word says yeah. such and such. Yeah. And I can do that under my breath. Yeah. And you might think, you know, thank God for cell phones and earpieces now, right? Yeah. You know, cell phones and earpieces, you can fake now like you're talking on the phone. Back in the day when you were walking around doing that, everybody was ready to call you in. But now they say, oh, she's just talking on the phone right now. So now just pretend like you're talking on the phone, but you're talking to God. Hallelujah. He talks about meditating in the word day and night. Not only is that processing, not only is that thinking, but that's also muttering, muttering, like muttering uh, almost uh, uh, unintelligible words. Do you remember the story about the prophet Eli? Any of y'all remember, you Bible scholars remember? I can't think of her name right now. Hannah. Hannah wanted a child. And she began to ask God, if you give me this child. I'll give them back to you. And so she went into the house of the Lord and she was down there just talking to God under her breath. And Eli came and saw her and thought she was crazy. Right? He thought something was wrong with her. He thought she was drunk. He thought that she had lost her mind, but she was muttering. She was under her breath just talking about talking to God and, and, and reminding God of his promises and saying, God, I will do such and such for you if you will give me the promise that you promised me. And that's what we need to do with God. He challenges us yeah. to meditate in his word day and night. God, you promised me. Sometimes you can't speak it out loud. You at work and you can't speak it out loud, but you can speak it under your breath. Hallelujah. You can fold it over in your mind. I thank you, God, for delivering me even from this job. I think you got so much things that are better for me. I'm going to do the best that I have to do right now while I'm at this job because I know you are preparing me for my next step. You're preparing for me for my victory. You're preparing me for my open door. You're preparing me for what's next for me. When we talk about unlocking your success and we talk about embracing the word of God, the next thing he tells us to do here is to observe the word. Verse 8 says, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe. I'm going to skip over that other part. That you may observe all that is written in it. That you may observe all that is written in it. The Bible says, my son, attend to my words. Incline thine ears to my sayings. Let them not depart from your eyes, but keep them in the midst of your heart. Why? For they are life Amen. to those that find them and healing to all their flesh. The solution to whatever you need is the word of God. The bigger the problem, the more you need to be talking the word of God. Amen. The bigger the mountain, the more you need to be speaking the word of God. Yeah. See, we have a tendency to back up off the word of God. Yeah. We have a tendency to shut down on the word of God. We have a tendency to go on boycott with God. 
We're boycotting him because we're upset with him. We're boycotting him because we're mad at him. We're boycotting him because we're disappointed. No, instead of going back, draw nearer. Go closer. Dig deeper. Study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Here! talks about observing the word and then we talk about unlocking your success how to embrace the word the next one is to do the word we've got to do the word this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth but you shall meditate in it day and night that you may do according to all that is written in it do how many of you know it's not enough to be a hearer of the word it's not it's not enough that you go to church every sunday welcome back you do not want to miss the conclusion tomorrow of the message how to unlock the door to your success please don't forget to like and share this message with your friends and family i'm robin carter and i want you to remember that the sower sows the word and therefore it is with the same measure you meet that it shall be measured onto you again.